I'm off to the grocery store to buy cheese from Quebec. We have an amazing selection of Quebec cheeses, Canadian cheeses, and cheeses from all around the world. Hi, come on into my kitchen and we have a cheese tasting going on. So I have five cheeses here, all from Quebec. Quebec is a province in Canada. Quebec is also a majority French speaking uh, population, but there are some English speaking and people that speak basically languages from all around the world living in Quebec. Quebec has almost 200 cheese producers just in that one province. We're approximately 8 million people and we have 200 large and small factory and artisan cheese producers. As well, Quebec produces half of the cheese produced for the whole of Canada, which is a population of 36, 38 million people. So cheese making, it's big business in Quebec and we have some amazing cheeses. And I'm going to show you five of my top favorites. And if you like cheese and you want to know more about cheese, here we go. to my channel. All of these cheeses were made in Quebec. So the first one we're going to look at, it's a Brie cheese. This is the package. And it's called Cendré de Lune, Alexis de Portneuf. So it's a brie cheese that has ash around it, and that's what the uh, dark spots are. It's ash. It's absolutely delicious. Ash was sometimes put around cheeses like this to help retard bacteria growth. So this is a soft, slightly ripened cheese. That's the category it's in, and let's take a slice. As you can see, it's quite soft, like all brie cheese. Uh, mm. It has a very, it's a fairly strong flavor for a brie, but not as strong as a camembert, but very delicious. It's just absolutely delicious. Smooth, sort of a little bit buttery, but a little bit slightly pungent, slightly pungent. And the ash just gives it an extra little kind of not bitterness, but an extra little punch that makes it really, really good. Mm. Of all the breeds in the world, this is my favorite. So this cheese, Cendré de Lune, was first created in 1842 by Alexis Cahier and his wife, Jane Skinner. They moved to a farm and they started with cows, uh, as people very often do in this area. But then they started making cheese and they became expert cheese makers and the cheeses they made became very famous. All of these cheeses have won awards in cheese competitions around the world. So these are excellent cheeses for anyone from any country. Now the next one is called La Tome d'Elle. And this is considered a semi-soft or semi-firm cheese. I'm going to take a slice. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> you see it, it holds together, but it's a little firmer than the brie, but still quite soft. Now this has a little bit of a camembert smell, but it doesn't have a camembert taste. It has a little bit of a bite kind of taste to it. Quite salty and a little bit of a bite. A little bit like goat's cheese has a little bit of a bite, so it's got a little bit of that kind of taste, but it's not goat's cheese, it's cow cheese but it's very good. <clears throat> now this cheese is actually very recent. It was first created in 1994 by a Quebecer, Mr. Dufour. He named it La Tome d'Elle in honor of his mother because La Tome d'Elle is about women. I hope you're enjoying this exploration of Quebec cheeses. And if you are, subscribe to my channel and click the like button. Now here we have Oka. This is a smoked oka. Oka is one of the most, uh, most famous Canadian cheeses. Oka was first created in 1893 by Trappist monks. There was a monk who came from France and there's a cheese from France called Port du Salut. So he brought the recipe with him and the monks had an abbey at Oka, which is just a little ways away from Montreal, it's not far, and they were struggling financially. So this monk came with his cheese recipe and he started teaching them how to make cheese and he tweaked the recipe a little bit for Canadian conditions and produced the first Oka cheese. Then in 1918, 
the monks in Oka shared their recipe with some monks in Manitoba, another province of Canada. So there were now two places producing Oka cheese. And then in 1981, the recipe was sold to Agropur, which is a big Canadian uh, milk and dairy company, and they've been making the cheese. But the recipe is still secret and known to only a few of the master cheesemakers at Agropur, or a few of the monks that might still be alive and who remember the recipe. Oka cheese is famous and delicious. As you can see, I had a very big piece. <laughs> I've been eating it. <laughs> And I love the smoked. There's several varieties of oka, but I love the smoked. So this is also semi-soft or semi-firm cheese. It's a washed rind cheese, and it's famous for the uh, orange rind. And the orange rind tastes very good. So you want to eat the rind. There's a lot of flavor in there. It's a fairly mild flavor, but with the smokiness, it adds a little layer. It adds a little bit of nutty flavor to it, which is why I like it, because regular Oka cheese is quite mild. Mmm. Now, this one is a semi-firm. It's called Delice des Appalaches, which means delights from the Appalachians. It has cider used in the process, and also it's lactose-free. All of the uh, cheeses made by the company called uh, Rang Neuvième, which means uh, Ninth Road, all, those, all of their cheeses are lactose-free. So this is what Delis des Appalaches looks like. We're just going to cut off a little corner. And I've never tried it, but I selected it for two reasons. One, it was made in Quebec, and two, it has won awards. And three, it's lactose-free, which is also nice to come across. Mmm. There's a little bit of crunchiness to the outside rind. Fairly mild, but a slightly fermented flavor, a nicely fermented flavor. Has a very nice mouthfeel. All the juices have a very nice mouthfeel, but this one is starting to get though into the taste range of some of the harder cheeses like cheddar, like a stronger cheddar. And it's very nice. I like it. So. For a first time trying it, I like it. And this one is called Saint Paulin. It was also started by the same monks at the uh, monastery in Oka who started the Oka cheese. It's famous because of its bright orange rind. So let's give this one a try. A small piece, but that's okay. I'm going to also. Yeah, so I'm just getting the after or the, the secondary flavors of this one. This one has some nice, very secondary flavors. There's definitely some hints of nut in there and some herbs or it, there's a little bit of an herby flavor too, which is nice. Okay, now here we have the Saint Paulin, who still quite a soft cheese compared to a cheddar, but very nice. Mmm. Yeah, this one is a fairly, I'd say, standard kind of flavor profile. It's very pleasant, just slightly salty, just slightly cheesy, smooth in the mouth. So this one is a very smooth cheese that could go with anything. That's a sample like. Now this one, Delis des Appalaches, then it has a stronger flavor profile. So it would really be a cheese that you would only want to serve with foods that can hold up to that robust flavor. So for example, something spicy or meaty, this would be a good choice because it's got the robustness in its flavor to not be overwhelmed. The Oka is medium in terms of flavor profile. It can stand up on its own, but it's definitely not like goat's cheese, which has a very strong flavor profile. So this one is medium in terms of flavor profile. And, uh, this one, which is La Tome Del, I don't remember what it tastes like now. In terms of flavor profiles, I would put Delice des Appalaches as the strongest. Then I would put La Tome Del. Then I would put Oka. Then I would put the Brie. And then I would put the Saint Paulin. 
So going from strongest flavor to medium flavor to still somewhat but not very strong to fairly mild. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Quebec cheese. I'm going to do more of these videos bringing you some of the delights of the food we have here in Quebec because we do have an amazing array of international foods, Quebec foods, Canadian foods, every kind of food you can think of. We can find it in Quebec and enjoy it. If you found this interesting and you want more content like this, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell so that you're notified when new videos come out. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. <laughs>